uh, and talk a little bit about the the, um, the march, the the the, um, the effort and the pro-life effort and how it has changed in some ways as the post dob issued, but then coming down into the state level. And here, it, we're, we're coming from the Boston, Massachusetts area and the uh, pregnancy crisis centers that have taken a lot of heat le recently too. But maybe talk about that and the yeah. importance of... Um, yeah, so, so post Dobbs, what, what the Knights decided to do, we've always had an ultrasound initiative, yes. and we, we, which I spoke about this afternoon. We put in 1,800 ultrasounds, which is really sort of grassroots, working in communities, uh, changing hearts and minds. So that's, that's, we've been doing that for a long time. The, what we did post Dobbs was we started a new program called ASAP, Aid and Support After Pregnancy, where, where councils, our local councils, raise funds for maternity homes and, and pregnancy resource centers. And it really, it really has taken off. I mean, we, we've raised $11 million on, on the local level for this. So that is the kind of grassroots efforts that we're doing. And I, I talked a little bit in my report about just the struggles that we face at the ballot box. And, um, and this is very serious, right? This is a very, there's, there's, there's very serious, as the abortion industry is fighting really, really hard. I think the thing what the Knights can do is, is, is we can do this grassroots work that we're doing, but also I think one of the things we're doing in the Knights is with our core initiative, which I spoke about. And, and the, whole, the whole issue there is we're trying to get men to become better husbands and fathers and that, you know, that builds a culture of life in the family. And that's really, really important. So, so, so children grow up just being pro-life. It's normal to be pro-life. And that's, that's, that's one of the things that CORE is all about. Yeah. And we've been hearing about CORE all day long. Uh, and the night's incredible effort to reach deeply into local communities and parishes. Uh, and and help men to evangelize one another, to learn more about their faith, to practice their faith more effectively, and along with that, to bring their families more uh, yeah. into uh, the, the community of the church and the life of the church. Yeah. So this is a very good thing, and I, I, I know you know that, and <laughs> I know you're a, a proponent of CORE, and could you to help us to understand some of these resources and how they can, as I say, reach so deeply yeah. into the local community. You know, and what, one of the things, so I, I served in the military and I was, a, I was a Navy JAG. And so what that meant was I was dealing with a lot of sailors who were in a lot of trouble. And, and so I, I got to know them over time. You're, you're, you're at courts martial. And what you find eventually is that you get to know them and you realize most of them had very weak father figures or, or no father figure at all and their family. And it led to all sorts of problems in their life. So that was one of the things I think for me that was just percolating for years and years. So that, so that kind of pushed me uh, to, to, to try to start the CORE initiative. Um, but the resources that, that you mentioned, um, we, we, have, we started with Into the Breach, which was a, which was a series on, on authentic masculinity. Now we have a second series called Into the Breach, The Mission of the Family. And it is basically, it gives men practical advice, pointers on just how to be, how to be a good husband and how to be a good father. And so, so there's that. The other interesting thing is we, we looked around at men's Bible studies and we realized that there was almost zero Bible studies for men. In, in very sharp contrast for the, to, to women, because there are many, many Bible studies for women. There's some very, very good resources. So we couldn't find one for men, so we decided to, to do our own Bible study. And it's called Men of the Word, and it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a Bible study for men. So a lot of our core groups are using that Bible study. And it really is, it really is bringing, the core initiative is bringing men together in faith and building those friendships, which is, the friendship is, is, is everything. You know, I know another important priority for the for you, where the Supreme Knight and the Knights is is recruiting younger men. Yeah. Um, as, and you, as you mo noted, um, just a large portion of the church, and it's such an important part. And one thing, of course, we have in common is we both joined the Knights of Columbus in college. Yeah. And how we can do that more with now over 400 college councils. So I don't know if you wanted to yeah. address anything about 
you know, continuing to go out to younger men. Yeah, it is. It's, 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 a, it's a crucial priority for us. And, and one thing we have found is, is younger men really like the faith formation aspect. That's, that's what they're looking for, right? And, and so, so that's, we, we've, we have CORE, and it is attracting younger men to the Knights of Columbus. Um, it's, 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 and it's really, really important. I, I've seen this in my own parish, where I live now in Connecticut. They've started CORE, and their younger men are now coming to it. And uh, it's, it's, really, it's really interesting because there's just a balance there of some of, the, some of the, the longer tenured men who have served in the council, but they're attracting young men. And it's, 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 it's what men want, right? That's what men want. The crucial thing about CORE is it's not just for knights. The knights sponsor it, but it's for all the men of the parish, right? So there's no, there's no exclusivity around it. We just, we cast a wide net into the parish. Well, thank you so much, uh, Supreme Knight, for taking the time to stop by with 